Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Beta FPV has sent me the things you see in front of you. We've got two flight controllers, an F4 and an F3. We've got their TX02, I believe it is called, their radio, and we've got two batteries, but I've flown these batteries before, so uh, I can tell you these batteries operate just about like any other 550 milliamp 1S battery that you see like this. Just about. Uh, there's a few that are out there that aren't very good. And there's a few that are just a touch better, but that really depends on your care. And I tend to abuse my batteries, and these have held up just fine. So uh, I won't be talking much more about these batteries. If you're looking for something like this, these will work out fine. Uh, they're not the worst, and they're probably not the best. Uh, this is what comes when you buy a King Kong radio uh, with your tiny whatever, your tiny 6, tiny 7, tiny 8. This is the radio that you typically get, I believe. You can see right there on the front, King Kong. Uh, let's see, there's one difference, I think, I thought. No, I'm wrong. They both have the same uh, battery, proprietary battery in there, um, and then they have these switches that you can set for different uh, protocols to connect different machines. Uh, as far as the construction goes, they, they feel the same, they're identical. Um, the sticks they remove off of the top of these just like they do on the other. Um, the lights are the same. Uh, you have a USB port down here at the bottom. Those are the same. We've got an on-off switch. Those are the same. And I have flown this quite a bit in my coming for the uh, Tiny 6 review. And I can tell you as a pincher, um, at least with my hands and the dexterity and my fingers, this form factor does not work well for me. I think this is really going to be primarily for thumbers or if you're in a pitcher that, that can adapt better than I can. Um, I, I think it's a good starter though. I, I think if you can get a pick up a, a machine with this in it, I think it'll work fine for most people, especially people younger than myself. I, I'm not exactly young anymore, but people who grew up playing video games, video games are something that started in my teens. Um, but people who are used to doing this uh, will probably be more suited for it. Uh, and it does have an antenna that moves around a little bit so it gets out of its own way as well as your way and you have these uh, They're not necessarily rocker switches because they're not connected as you can see there I should use this one the one that was sent to me <laughs> but uh, these change lights on the front and they uh, Correlate to just having switches on your radio just like you would with any other radio and that's all I have to say about that now We're down to the brains. So let's open up these and we'll take a quick peek peek at them. We'll take a quick peek at them. So I'm going to keep the F4 over here. Yeah, F4 is going to be over there. F3 will be on this side. We get some screws for mounting, some grommets. We get the same wire, the same uh, connector, and I do like these connectors. And we have our antennas here. They look to be the same. Let's turn these over. Let's take them for a little tour. So maybe if I can get these to focus. Here, this is what I'll do. I'll put them on the ground, or on the desk, and I'll focus in. Well, that's not working either. So, can I get it to focus this way? Not exactly perfect. I can't quite get him to stay in my hand. Oh, I got an idea. Okay, so now I have my favorite workable putty in my hands, and you get to see the board in all its glory. Again, this is the F4 over here. This is the F3. Now I'm going to turn them over. Okay. So this is the motor mounting side. You can see the bind button, the boot button, same locations. But you get a little bit of a look at the board layout. So we have these two boards, and they both have OSDs on them, so that's great. But this is an F4 demo. I don't know why they sent me the F3 demo, and I don't know why companies send stuff out. And essentially, in this form, I can't do anything with it, right? Now, I don't, you know, they're depending upon me having a frame. They're depending upon me having motors, props, uh, a canopy, a camera and VTX all in one. They're, they're depending upon me having all these other things that we need to find these things. So I bought this off of eBay. <laughs> and yes, you can buy beta FPV stuff right off of eBay. Let me keep those straight. So I'll be taking this F4 flight controller and putting it in here. Uh, you see it does come with motors with the plugs already in it. Uh, here you can take a little quick peek at this. This is for the 75 millimeter. Their frame. And there's only one in there. And then it's got the, the uh, battery mount. So if you want to, you can load this around or you can do more traditional. And then we've got a canopy. I'll pull out out of my bin another camera all-in-one VTX, and I'll try to figure out which one I've used because I know everybody asks. I'm going to put this in there, and then we're going to go fly it and have some fun finally. 
Now we get down to the good bits. We're going to go for a fly. Uh, before we get too deep in this, I do have to talk here for about four minutes, so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to keep that up. But this has the uh, new 30 amp FETs on this, and so that's quite an upgrade compared to the previous version, the F3 version. I believe that had five or six amp FETs. One thing I did notice about this um, is that the motors did get quite hot, and what I suspect is that we're just pumping more juice to those motors than we have in the past uh, therefore they perform very well but they could have a reduced life I can't be certain of that but uh, you never know you know heat usually isn't a good thing when it comes to electronics but yeah as I start out here I think I'm doing fairly well I think I get a little bit more into it and uh, pick up my speed a little bit uh, this is the best brushed hoop I have flown I haven't flown them all there are many out there that I'm sure I haven't flown but I just got done reviewing all three of, of the LDARC, the Tiny 6, the Tiny 7, and the Tiny 8. I've flown a few brushed quads, uh, these micro hoops, uh, in the past, and I've upgraded motors, things of that nature, but this is the best experience that I had. And, and I am in acro mode. You see down there at the lower right, it says air. Usually, if you're in any sort of st stability mode, it will say uh, angle or horizon. In this mode, the flight controller isn't doing in any stabilization, and this is my preferred way to fly. Uh, I spent uh, a lot of time working up to this to be able to fly inside, and so I try to, when I can, fly acro inside the house. I did fly this outside, and uh, unfortunately I went to the playground where my girls swim at the YMCA, uh, which is fairly colorful and a little bit visually interesting. Uh, but the wind was pretty bad and uh, it, it blew me off course left and right. I spent most of my time just banging into stuff, not so much enjoying the flight. It was about 10 mile an hour wind that would gust up uh, well above that. I also flew it when we were doing our 4th of July fireworks and I found that when it is pitch dark, it is really hard to fly. Uh, I was trying to do some kind of a, almost like a reverse orbit. Maybe that's not the right term, but I was trying to orbit around some stuff and I bonk into the ground because I had no idea how high I was until I got a good bright firework going. Then I could kind of get a read for where the ground was and I could do a little bit better job there. But of course, you know, this, this particular board, it really has just about everything you would ask for. Uh, the one thing it does miss is if you want a buzzer. There is no pad that I was able to locate on the flight controller that would allow us to add a micro buzzer. So if you were to fly this one in a larger space, where you could use that to help find it when it did go down. I think the other thing that they could add, and I think it's very, very limited, is uh, they call it meow mode in tiny whoop world but i think it's uh, more appropriately known as turtle mode where you can flip over you reverse the spin of the motors um, i'm not certain too many flight controllers even offer that but that's that's another feature we can one day look forward to i believe king kong does have their race version which does that but i i can't say that for certain because that's one that i haven't flown myself if you're into brushed whoops and you're looking to build this is one that I would definitely take a really strong look at. Uh, you can do flips and rolls and things of that nature. It's just not really my style, especially when flying inside the house. I end up covering so much ground by the time I get to pick up whatever it is I've flipped or rolled around, I end up crashing into it. Uh, there we are at low battery, going to come in for a quick landing. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please leave those in the section down below. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.